Hey guys, this is Bando Guy 4 bringing you another episode of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. In the last part, I got lost in the mountains looking for a secret seashell that is no longer there. In this part, we're going to be entering level 7 Eagle's Tower. So, first, I'm going to go to the left and then up the screen, and we will see that. We still have switches. Um, I need to find the switch, actually. So I'm going to go over to the right first. Uh, we see spike traps everywhere. I'm already low on health. There's our new enemy, Gibdos. They're in most Zelda games. I'm just trying to find a switch right now. And I already wasted my magic, uh, medicine. Um, I was supposed to kill some enemies. We can see now that we have a, uh, many floored dungeon. There are, in fact, four floors. Um, let's see, what I wanted to do... I'm supposed to go east twice and kill these enemies. And that will drop a key. Let's get the anti fairy tail. And now that I have a key, I can go through this door. And we're going to go up the first set of stairs. Up here, I'll need to go up this way. Oh, yeah. Now I remember what this is all about. So I need the orb. So I'm gonna put it right there. I have to pull those blocks back. And I need the orb. If I don't have the orb, it doesn't matter. There we go. And you will see as you're going through uh, this dungeon that there are pillars. You need to throw the orb at the pillar. And that will make it crumble. So there are, I believe, four pillars here. Um, but first, we're going to head up from here. And we see more horse heads. I'm going to go ahead and take out that anti-fairy real quick. And I need to throw the horse heads. Okay, so this is the first one. Seems like if you throw them at uh, the wall, you sometimes have more success. But not always. Totally random. There we go. And now, we get the map. Okay, now I need to keep the orb with me. And throw it down past those blocks. I think it's across the blocks, just... Yeah. And now, I myself need to go south. So, let's use... I did not get to keep the rooster with me, unfortunately. Uh, come over here. Grab it again. Throw it over. Jump over myself. And now destroy the second pillar. I jump while holding this. I cannot. I want to fall down here. And I land on top of these bricks. Now that I'm up here, I want to go. I 
need to jump across and come over here. And then I need to go up this... Oh, now I fell off. You really, really don't want to fall off. Um, I'm not even sure how I fix that. Let's go ahead and open this chest. Let's see, ah, uh, fragment, or a stone saw that beak. Uh, you really don't want to fall off those blocks. I know what's up there, in that treasure chest. But I want to get up to that treasure chest eventually. Um... Come down here. No. <sighs> yeah, I know I have to get back up. Okay, so. <sighs> I'll need to hit this at the very least. I'm up here. If I fall, I don't land on raised blocks anymore, though. So I need to find another switch. Right there. I'll go ahead and grab this. That's my mirror shield, which I'm not supposed to get for a while, but I need it now. <laughs> so I was gonna lose the orb anyway, uh, so I don't need to pick it up again. Hurry through. Fall down here. Alright, this time let's make sure we don't fall off. Okay, it's really that simple. Now come up the stairs here. And we have these guys again. Haven't seen them in a while. I don't want to deal with that. Trying to get at least two. Heart. Got them. By the way, if you destroy that one hearts, you get hearts. And there's my compass. Okay, so when to go. Once it stops talking at me, get on this way. I go ahead and jump over those spikes. Then over here, push that, and come down this way. Now you can hit that switch, which you want to do. Come this way. I need to get the orb again. Oh, by the way, the riddle is solved when the pillars fall. So, I told you that you need to destroy the pillars, but if you chose to ignore me, as usual, I would not blame you, but. For once, I was not leading you wrong. Get through here. Um, I think I want to come this way. And throw the orb over the pillar here. Or over the rail here. No. Not that. Uh, come over here. Push the block. over this way. Throw it over there. And it will wait there for me. Put 
down the stairs. I can get over this way. And from here... By the way, another thing that the... Uh, boomerang actually doesn't kill is these guys. It hits them even if they're in the air, but it just stops. But if they're landed, it will destroy them. Um... See, I want to go this way, and uh, that didn't work. Come around up this way. Down here, and up these stairs. I'm gonna climb up those stairs. I need to go down. And here's this guy again. Remember him? Dies pretty quickly with the level 2 sword. And he drops a key. Um, with that key, I now go back up north. Through here. And this is another tile room. So I will stick myself in the corner. And wait. Alright, so now we've got the orb. And another pillar right here. Simply do that. Raise the third pillar. Now we actually want to throw the orb in the pit to move it back to where it was originally. And go east, down a couple times, when I hit this crystal again. Uh, helps if I have my sword out, or something to hit it with at least. Then I want to go up and grab the orb again. Oops. Oh, that's bad to do here. Don't fall into the freaking pit anymore. Alright, so I want the orb one last time. There are four pillars total. Alright, originally, if I hadn't gotten the mirror shield, this is where I would get it now. Okay, there we go. Now the orb again. I need to go south. And then there's a locked block there. Oh, let me kill this guy real quick. I do have a key for the locked block. Come up here. And then I want to go this way. Throw the orb over right there. Yeah. Throw the orb over there. I think I need to kill these guys. Yeah. Hit them all at once. Alright, that was a chest over there. I have to go up a couple times. Again. And I'll have to wait here again. Let's pull out the shield. And wait. I'm so low on hearts. Let's see if you'll give me one. There's a fairy. Alright, doing better now. So here, you need at least two bombs, because you need to bomb that wall. Um, 
Oh, right there, probably. Between the torches. Yes. And then bomb this wall as well. This is nowhere else you can go. Now you'll be over here. Since we made that treasure chest appear, we can hook shot over to it. It's just 20 rupees, but it was necessary. Go up here, grab the orb, destroy the last pillar. Now the entire dungeon shrinks down. Now we want to go back to where we found the mirror shield. And from there, I want to go south, then west. And hit that crystal, which I can do with a bomb. Actually, I can... If I can do it with a boomerang, do that instead. And then go up these stairs. And get back out the hook shot to help with the helmosaurs. When you come up here, and then over this way, and this is our uh, mini boss. Hey, Runt, think you can take me? All right, boys, get this punk out of my face. Um. So there's like some bat dudes. I might need a mirror shield here. Let's try to take all of these guys out at once. There we go. Just have to take them all out. Not that bad. Okay. I'm gonna come up here. There's obviously a key in here. We haven't had a simple puzzle like this in a while. Let's destroy these guys. I mean, now that I can. May as well destroy them whenever I get the chance. There's the Nightmare's key. I'm not going to worry about the shrine or hitting that crystal. Let's come over this way. Okay, so there's a nightmare. But as you can see, there are still a bunch of treasure chests in this dungeon. And I want to get them. Looks like to get over there, I need to hit a crystal. So, I'll go back and hit the crystal. That's a rope. I haven't seen a rope in a while. Oh, I can get down on top of those, even though they're raised up. Hmm. Doesn't look like I can go anywhere up here when things are raised. I really want to find these treasure chests. It looks like basically what I have to do is fall from up above to get onto that higher area. So let's see what happens if I fall on this lowest block. Yes, I end up up here. Okay, so coming up to this top left corner, the treasure chest. And in this chest would be, if you hadn't gotten them 
If you hadn't somehow gotten 20 by the 7th dungeon, that would be the 26th and final secret seashell. So there's also one on the other side here. And it won't help me falling over here. That's not a hole that helps you to fall down. But if I go over to the right hand side, hopefully I can find somewhere around here a helpful hole to fall down. That will take me to the top right corner where I can get the last, uh, like right here maybe. Yes, right here. Come up from here, and we know that it's, it's a key. And we saw, not all that long ago, a locked door. So I'm gonna come back to the beginning. And warp up. I see a locked door around here. I thought I saw something that was locked nearby. I'm running low on hearts again, so let's take out the bubbles. There are at least one of them. I think I hit the switch. Just once. <laughs> Yeah, so I can come over here now. And there's the last block. How exactly that helps me, I don't know. in this room anyway. Maybe something if I defeat all the enemies. Oh, I know. But how do I manage that? There are wizards in this room, I just realized. Via the boss, actually. Yeah, at least around here, anyway. So going through the boss door doesn't actually take you to the boss. At least not just yet. So now... The horse heads get even worse. Because you have to deal with them... While trying to avoid beams. I have a mirror shield though. Ah, oh, but I died anyway. I continue without saving in case something messes up. But I'm pretty close to where I was. So I don't have to go real far here. There! 
100 rupees. That's what I got. So remind me how I actually get up to the boss. <laughs> Ow. I see. This way to the boss. Okay, so... I said that uh, this particular boss... Really... Lends his stay into... Nightmare. I want to... If you thought restarting a battle with Moldorm was bad... Bah! I'm not going to hold back. And when the miss you were never born! Uh... Big bird. And he hops on top of the eagle. So you have to... Uh, hit him with your sword. don't want to fall off. Eventually, he'll do that, and you have to use a Pegasus boost to try and not fall off. But it's not easy to not fall off. You have to be ready. And yes, you restart the battle every time. Falling off when fighting multiple Oh, what? 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 That's not right. There's no way it's that easy. What? Um. Okay. Uh, where's the instrument, though? Where's the instrument, though? Oh, uh, yeah, Organ of Evening Calm. Wow, that was disturbing. <laughs> um, anyway, Ocarina. The music of the ocarina leads. So yeah, now I'm out here. And, um... I'm actually going to get a couple more things. So, um... I'm going to drop down the right-hand gap here. And head back through the caves. here. Basically right now I just need to get back out towards the western side. That's just that. To get out of here. This will lead me back up to where I was. That's not right at all. I went through the wrong caves. Shut down. Oh god! I ended up all the way back down there. Don't drop down that way. I'll meet you back up there. Okay, eventually you will make your way out of the caves, back over here. I'm gonna come up these stairs. Come on over here. You want to come over here and hookshot your way across. 
And you'll see Marin. Somebody help! Hey Link, some monsters put me up here. What should I do? I'm afraid of fights. So Hookshot threw her, and you rescue her. Yeah, that was a surprise. Link, thank you. Say, Link. Uh, I don't know how to say this, but... Marin! Huh? Darren? Uh, never mind. I, I gotta go. Where are you going? There's no way out that way. Hoot. That girl sang her song in front of the egg. Her ballad of the windfish is a song of awakening. Did she actually intend to wake the windfish? The next siren's instrument is in the west. Play your melodies so the unliving stones might hear. Show your courage. The windfish waits for you. Hoot. Alright, so come over here. Uh, there's a bush here that I chopped already. Um... Hey. Um, where is this? There we go. Um, what I want to do here is, um, bomb the south wall. And we've been seeing this for a very, very long time. So come down here, go to the east, and finally get the 11th piece of heart. Alright, so come back this way. And then you want to go out this way. And down the stairs. You cannot get back easily from here. So be aware of that before you jump down. Alright. So now, look shut over. And we will be now on the western side of the map, near the top of the mountain. So we need to make our way all the way to the top, avoiding all these boulders if possible. Ah, I got hit already. Um, I'm gonna pick these up. There's nothing under any of them? That's too bad. Anyway, there's one stone over here. Lift it up. Come down here, and we see a well again. So, like the last time we saw a well, Magic powder. Hey, kid. You woke me up from a fine nap. Thanks a lot. But now, I'll get my revenge. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, I'll let you carry more bombs. Yeah. <laughs> Are you ready? Please. Hey, hey, you deserve it. Now look at all that junk you have to carry. Haha, <laughs> take care. See you again. Yes, yes. So come out. Take out that mini mold arm. Here's 50 more rupees if you need them for some reason. I'll come over here. Jump down there. I can carry 60 bombs now, so let's go ahead and open that up. Come up through here. Alright. Uh, let me leave here for just a second and uh, look what's around here a little bit. Um, I think, yes, if you need to get back down, you can do so right there. So, we didn't really need the mirror shield for anything before, but it will block this fire so that you can, well, split the fire so you can get through. So it was more of a progression upgrade than uh, beat the previous dungeon upgrade. So here's Olrira's house again. Let's so come on in here. Bring, bring, hi, it's Olrira. The head of the turtle is in your way. Put life into it and it will move. It's true, true. Bye. Um, so I'm going to come over here. There's a crow there, and a crow there. 
So, we were told that this song breathes life into things that are not alive. Stand back. Turtle. And this will open up a battle. But all you just just keep hitting it with your sword. And it will open up the way to level eight. Turtle Rock. I will see you guys then.